I'll shake it up, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. You know, you come on a little bit closer now, baby. Work it all out. I'm sorry, that's so bad. So this is one of my favorite dressings, and it's a conversion dressing, so it's one of those things that when you put it on salad, for those who aren't crazy about salads, they soon become crazy about it. It's also really good for developing that savory palette that I keep talking about. And it is a variation of a dressing that I found in the Hollyhock cookbook, and it's called a nutritional yeast dressing. So essentially what I'm going to use is some garlic, fresh garlic, always, some tamari, a wheat-free soy sauce that's organic, so it's GMO-free, nutritional yeast, very different to brewer's yeast, okay, um, apple cider vinegar, so we want organic, unfiltered with the mother in it, apple cider vinegar, and a beautiful cold-pressed olive oil or an olive oil that has not been exposed to heat or chemicals. You want something that's just been literally crushed or centrifugally expressed. And it's something that once you put this dressing together, you just throw it all into the Vitamix, blend it all up. It is so delicious, has all these beautiful kind of nutrition, nutritious components in it that will really make a difference so that when you start to feed people vegetables or eat them yourself, it makes them come alive. And of course, I'm gonna make this salad for you with the zoodle maker, and I've shown you how to make zoodles before with the zoodle maker, so it's gonna have just the right texture to get just enough of the dressing and not too much. So it gives you enough flavor of the dressing, but it doesn't become overly soggy and drenched with the dressing. Super easy to make. So one clove of garlic, uh, sometimes two if they're small or you just like a lot of garlic. Some people use three or four. I'm good with one or two. A uh, third a cup of tamari, a third a cup of nutritional yeast, third a cup of apple cider vinegar, and also just a third cup of water would be great just to kind of so it's not overpowering. And then anywhere from half to one and a half cups of olive oil, depending on how strong you actually like the flavor. And it's simply a matter of pouring it all into the Vitamix or a high power blender, blending it all up. And if you don't have a high power blender, you can just grate your garlic on a microplane or crush it in a crusher and just shake it up as I did before in a jar. Now it's gonna have a slightly different consistency and each time you use it, you're gonna to have to shake it up, but that's not a problem. It's not hard to do and it is so worth getting the ingredients and making the effort. One of the things I do want to talk to you about is that for many years, I used Black Bragg's liquid aminos, thinking that it was a much healthier alternative to tamari or soy. So a good soy sauce is naturally fermented. Fermentation is one of the ways humans adapted to be able to actually consume and digest soy without creating um, gastrointestinal problems. Bragg's liquid aminos is unfermented, but what they do do is they use hydrochloric acid to simulate the fermentation process, and the hydrochloric acid actually converts to sodium chloride, so although there's no added salt, it actually is converted, and which is why it makes its salty flavor. So one of the reasons that I won't use Black Bragg's liquid aminos is because you couldn't make it in nature. Now, a lot of people have very strong feelings about it, and that's totally cool, but for return to food, sweet freedom, using nature's principle and the consumption concept, we try to have things that we can only replicate and make in a natural environment. So that's why I would choose the tamari over the liquid aminos. Mm -hmm.